Hey everybody, my name is Phil. I'm Erica. And today we're watching the season finale of The Chosen Season 2. Let's dive in. We're here to cut tombs into these rocks. For the middle class. All the way out here. Only the wealthy can afford tombs close to the cities. What's to stop me and my sons from carving the tombs? Why haven't you? Do you have the tools? The expertise? Capital for hiring laborers and dozens of stonecutters? Our business has a reputation of doing things the right way. I'd be willing to part with a few more talents on the off chance there is something valuable under all this rock. This is all the promised land. No matter how it looks to you. 49. More than 10 years' wages, Hushan. Wow. Let's draw up the covenants. This guy seems way too sketch. Mm, good call, it's hard work. This guy's yeah, this guy training. <laughs> doing laps. You're going to wake the whole camp with your chopping. It's cold Put your shirt on before the women get up. Oh, they're already up. I heard them studying in their tent. What's with the chopping? Oh, did we interfere with sleeping in? <laughs> your sails are still full, I see. <laughs> do we all know what we're supposed to do? I don't know, Simon. Maybe listen. Keep talking to me like that. I know we'll need security on all four points of the compass. You know how to execute that, Z. The crowd is going to be bigger this time. The way the word is spreading. What do we do with hecklers? Uh, the odd Pharisee used to come <laughs> to these things. They used to be all over John's sermons. John would heckle them. <laughs> I just said used to. Jesus can handle Pharisees. Okay. We need to get this right, huh? No mistakes. Maria is writing leaflet notices and invitations and sometimes crying. Mm. She went through something bad. I think she just needs time. Mm. And what about them? In the most generous explanation, I'd call that love. <laughs> <laughs> that does not look like love to me. <laughs> no, they all love our rabbi and want to follow him the right way. Mm. They just can't agree on what that right way is. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so good. I will take these to Rima. Oh, oh, and all of them. tell Rima Philip found apples. But I wanted to bring her apricots. <laughs> because I know that her favorite. I will pass that along. It was perfection. You played your part so well. And my look of annoyance was the best I've ever given. Sophocles, Euripides, Aeschylus, they would kill for our acting skills. Oh certainly was a kind of tragedy. For him, for us, it was a, a triumph. And all tragedies have winners and losers. He did make a tidy profit on land he didn't know would ever be valuable. He'll never have to work another day in his life. You know, when I brought you on as my apprentice, they neglected to tell me that you did not have a sense of humor. I do have a sense of humor. You are about to become a very wealthy man. Once our miners find the salt, we're going to live like kings. Kings of what? <laughs> There's only one true king. In heaven, and everyone else, even Caesar, is enjoying illusions of power and wealth. Man was formed from earth, and eventually he returns to it. The time in between. There has to be more to life than that. He's an orphan and a poet. I told you not to call me that. Hey, let's take some time off to rest. What I need is a life I could be proud of. Don't you want to do something that will really matter? That will be remembered throughout history. Mm. <laughs> Which way? I appreciate your ambition, I really do. And I see potential in you, I see it every day. Maybe we're just looking too far north. What did he request? A grove of uh, juniper or gum trees on the backside where we could camp the night before? Yeah. Mm. It's like he already knows so it, specific, but... I know. Yeah. Let's have to find 
This is probably the spot. <laughs> Why? It's completely repellent. That's fine. Exactly. Oh, these guys. <laughs> That's everyone's response. It's with the law. <laughs> oh, this is that guy. I know we can't okay. prove it's the same person, but the pattern's too striking to ignore. It doesn't need to be the same person. That's what's wonderful. I will have Shimon dragged for this. Oh. Shimon and uh, Shimai. Shimon himself. Secretaries don't put words in the rabbi's mouth. It's the other way around. Self-identifies using a divine title from the prophet Daniel. Son of man. Claims authority to forgive sins. Violates Shabbat on multiple occasions. And commands others to do so. Eats with tax collectors and sinners. Degenerate. No. Wow. The speculation. One of John the Baptizer's students is among his followers, and there are rumors of a second. Delicious. <laughs> we'll never be pestered by that fleet again. In Capernaum, there were women of ill repute seen at table with him at the tax collector's house. You're telling me women are among his followers? You asked for speculation. The praetor of Capernaum ordered Jesus detained. When I spoke with his office, they made mention of the fourth philosophy. The zealots? It was just a passing comment. He must be out of his mind. We didn't come here today seeking to influence which schools of thought. Mm -hmm. We came looking for someone who would care that a false prophet is deceiving our people. If that was your intent, you have succeeded. Everything you shared with me will make an appearance at my next Shabbat sermon. How do they get to place? The notices. They're leaving to spread the word. Oh, you're just hmm. practicing. I hope they can find a way to work together. What do you mean? They can't seem to agree on a single thing lately. Myself included sometimes. Oh, I've noticed. But it's what's bound to happen when you start something that's open to all, truly, all people. Mm. Zealots, even tax collectors. People who have been through tough times. People both hesitant, mm. skeptical, as well as bold and confident. as well as those learned and knowledgeable. Which section stands out to you the most? Do not be anxious about your life, of course. <laughs> Are there any sections that concern you? Give me your honest opinion. I know I don't have to say that, but... <laughs> the whole truth. You know I won't be offended. There we go. It's... Well... Very striking. But... If I do the math in terms of good news and bad, it seems like there's not a lot of good news. <laughs> if the right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out. Wouldn't that lead to an entire population of people walking around with only one eye? Oh, <laughs> and this one. If anyone were to sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well? Mm. I haven't even named half of them. It's a manifesto, Matthew. I'm not here to be sentimental and soothing. I'm here to start a revolution. Well, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. That isn't exactly... I said revolution, not revolt. Mm. Mm. I'm talking about a radical shift. Did you think I was just going to come here and say, hey, everyone, just uh, keep doing what you've been doing for the last thousand years since it's been going so great. <laughs> right now, your opening line is, you are the salt of the earth. I'm worried particularly if it is windy, or if the crowd is larger than we expect, that people near the back will hear, salt the earth, <laughs> and immediately call to mind a negative connotation. What does you are the salt of the earth even mean? I'm not good at metaphor. Salt preserves meat from corruption. It slows its decay. I want my followers to be a people who hold back the evil of the world. Yeah. Salt also enhances the flavor of things. I want my followers to renew the world and be part of its redemption. Salt can also be mixed with honey and rubbed on the skin mm. for maladies. Mm. I want my people to participate in the healing of the world, not its destruction. Then why not just say that? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Matthew. Allow me a little poetry, huh? Hmm. Not everyone is like you. Some people like a little flavor. I'm not going nearly as far with metaphor as Solomon. <laughs> I'm reading him next. Well, good luck. He's probably... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
These things will make sense to some, but not to others. I don't want passive followers. Those who are truly committed will peer deeply into it, mm. looking for truth. Interesting. What? Right. That the show allowed Jesus that explanation. Hmm. Like Matthew made a good point. Like, why don't you just say exactly what you mean? Yeah. That one's inviting. But for Jesus, it's like people who really want to know are gonna figure it out. May I ask why you keep coming down to look at the camp? He wants like people to want that desire. Hmm. My goat herd told me about your plans, but I don't like preachers. I don't care for crowds. You're not even offering to pay for the use of the <laughs> We have no significant money to offer. We may be able to secure a loan. May. We have some people in our group who are skilled at negotiation. Why didn't you bring them? <laughs> I only came here because she said you'd pay for my drink if I heard you out, and I have. What about product association? What? If this man is as important as they say, and the sermon is as significant as they are predicting... I just don't care about any vagabond teacher. This is the man who's healed many, yes? The one we've heard about? Yes! Think of all the pilgrims that see him as more than a teacher. How many did you say? Hundreds? Perhaps thousands? Multitudes. Thousands of people having life-changing experiences on your land. They could see miracles. What happens when those pilgrims go to market for supplies? I mean, all those travelers, well, they associate your products with the feelings they have on the day. It's true. Coming from all over. Your products. Your milk, your cheese, your wool, huh? Your name will be the only name they can trust. Multitudes. Fine. But if I find one piece of trash left behind, I'll sue for damages. <laughs> you have our word. I think we just got the land. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> so how can we ever think? You know what would be really interesting? What's that? See this preacher in person. I've been hearing about him. I'm really glad to hear you say that. I want to see him too. It's settled. Wait, how could they, how could Mary put these together before they secured a location? <laughs> oh, who are these guys? They're just helping spread the word? I guess, yeah. Like a true word of mouth. Wow. No, they're still done. Have we been advertising something that might not happen? What if he never comes back? We go to sleep and he's not here. We wake up and he's not here. Correction. When you wake up, he's not here. Mm -hmm. I've seen him live with Matthew every morning for the past week. What if we've all been misled? How can you oh say that? Oh my goodness. Everyone, calm down. I'm sorry, I'm just nervous. We're all tired from a long day. Matthew. Bye-bye. I've got it. <clears throat> the opening? Yes. What is it? A map. What? Directions. Where people should look to find me. He's right there, they have no idea. <laughs> have I? Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn. Mm. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. For they mm -hmm. shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. For they shall be satisfied. Wow. I know. Wow. I forgot Blessed about this. Are the merciful. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely. On my account. Rejoice and be glad. For your reward will be great in heaven. Wow. If someone wants to find me, 
Those are the groups they should look for. Wow. Hmm. And then? Salt. You are the salt of the <laughs> <earth>. <laughs> Me eight hours to think of this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it bars. That's, it bars. that's the sermon. I know. People starting to come. Is there two more? No. Yeah, just, oh, yeah. just people coming. Yeah, they put like a stage. Anxious about your life, what you'll eat, what you'll drink, mm. about your body, what you'll put on. Dang, he's saying everything. Jesus. Yes. Please come. We'd like to show you something. I'm preparing, Ima. Fine. Mm. We'll come to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is no good. What? Why not? You'll blend into the rocks. To the people in the back, you'll be a disembodied voice coming from a slate quarry. You need a pop of color. <laughs> well? Well, uh, we have no glass or no still waters to peer into for reflection. <laughs> and even if we did, I can't tell you how little I care about how I look. <laughs> Ima. Blue. The symbol of peace. Our prince of peace. If more people show up, or if one more thing goes wrong, this could be a disaster. Am I allowed? Oh, I didn't even catch that. Hi. Uh, later. No. <laughs> Where's Dasha? She's with Zemdi and some others. They secured a place at the front. Eden! Yes? What color? Yeah. Is he still the only one? For the I wife? Oh, yeah. I, had a feeling. Yeah. I mean, when when would the others have met? No, anyone? I know, but... Oh, they added more people? Yeah. Yeah, like a salad. Come and find you. Who's Roman? I won't oh, uh, excuse me. Do, do you know where hey. I can stand to hear him? To hear the teacher from Nazareth. <laughs> Nazareth? He performs miracles. They are saying he could be the one. We're not going to miss a word. You could do a lot worse than to follow us. If it's kind, thank you. We're just going to say hello to some old friends before the hey, show. the backstage sure passes. Be. It was a show at Zebedee's house. Uh, Hogan and Seer. You're too close. Stay back. Five cubits back, everyone, please. And what if we don't? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, oh, oh. It's been like months. Are you he looks skinny. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Oh. Where's James? He's he's on the other side. I, I actually have to go there now. Okay, go. They see him like, come on, my son. It's a different actor. No problem. It's like, what the? You really Jesus are a big man, James. Guess it's blue. What are you thinking about? Your father. Which one? Oh, we never got to see any of this. My father? Mm -hmm. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> I am proud of you. <laughs> did they say how he died? In what he did? In this show? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Maybe wait to say that until after I'm <laughs> What'd you say? I'm proud of you. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you say will be beautiful. It is pretty good, actually. <laughs> Ooh, I got a word for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Master, it's time. If not now. When? We heard some guy was going to tell jokes on a hillside or something? They're not jokes. Matthew. <laughs> 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 Hey, <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, Wait. 
It's you. You're the man from the public house. You're I, I just follow them. I don't actually know what I'm doing here. Come on over. Well, we just wanted to say shalom. We'll go find a good spot. Please. It's him, right? <laughs> this is the man who got us the mountain, the pastor. Convinced the landowner it was worth his while. Yeah, good work. I'm Simon. Judas. Ooh. Welcome, Judas. I'm sure you're gonna love this sermon. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. They already like planted the seeds. I know, right? In terms of like business, yeah. the deals. Whoa, that's a lot of time. Wait. I guess it's the season finale. Is there, is there more? No, I guess like you. Wow, it's the end of the season. The Whoa. Oh! Did I just see something like, Jesus will return? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't see the. That looked like Were a scene from before. Scenes? Oh, like okay. when, he, when he was talking to um, John. In the um, maybe it's just previewing the last, yeah. Wow, they actually put in everyone, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a season finale, right? I guess that's, this is the time. And then many more of them. Oh, this is just kind of making up. Do you want to see this? Yeah, I've never seen this. I mean, it's not very long, so these bloopers. <laughs> the leprechaun. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Alarm. What is that? <laughs> is audio hearing? <laughs> oh gosh I make a mistake too. Hmm. <laughs> I booped her. Did she do that? <laughs> Someone trip? Oh, no. Oh, it's just the camera, I guess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. I know. Train. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. going the wrong way. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. okay. Season finale. Season two. Wow, that was really good. When he was telling the Beatitudes to Matthew? Uh, just like his whole process of like creating a sermon and like, you don't think about him asking disciples for advice. Um, but yeah, definitely the Beatitudes, like, really stood out here. That was great. Oh my god, that. like, you just wouldn't think that, like, wow, that was, like, really good how they, like, I'm okay, I got, of all the creative liberties that they take on the show, it's like, that is one that I feel like was really well done. But like they, using the disciples yeah. as inspiration. For that. Yeah, because obviously there's a lot of pinpointing on how sinful and like fleshy and human they are. And then he 
uses them as like that is why they were chosen mm-hmm. in the first place yeah no and and not only that it's just like we, we've been talking about it all throughout the first two seasons like they're so different yeah and it's yeah. because they represent so many different types of people that need help and they represent us right they mm-hmm. represent the 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 you know we we see ourselves in each of them so so much and um yeah, yeah just kind of they're they're the very human experience it's like nothing divine about what he, they're pointing out in those those snippets like very human experiences yeah. yeah that we can relate to that we can still experience today and it's like it's in those people where you can find jesus mm-hmm. and it's like that's so encouraging oh my god <laughs> so yeah yeah, that was really good. Man. That just, like, deserves a slow clap. <laughs> <laughs> some, well done. From the creators. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so good. Yeah. That was really good. And so it, it was kind of, it was nice how it was, it was acted as well. It was kind of like this, this breakthrough for Jesus. And, uh, like, the way that they were showing it, it was like we were seeing his memories. Mm-hmm. Almost. Like, that's kind of how I was, like, reading it. And it was like he was thinking about those moments as he was saying it, and it was like so much emotion yeah, in so in his voice and his face. And then like and he turned to Matthew and he was like speaking yeah. directly to him because that this is your this is the memory I have for you this is the one I wrote with you in mind, mm-hmm. and that is amazing. Yeah, the actor here, the one who plays Jesus, is so good at portraying a Jesus that is so loving. And compassionate yet bold and it doesn't feel like there are inconsistencies in his character mm. you know what I mean mm-hmm. like it's all very fluid like that's really all a part of his character yeah but yeah he is all those things mm-hmm. I love what he said about like he's starting a revolution not a revolt yeah it's a paradigm shift yeah a change yeah and yeah, and yeah, we've talked about this a bit before, but just like how he decided to communicate his sermons, like Matthew saying, like, why don't you just say that? Like, <laughs> it's so much more clear oh, that way. Poetic, and like, I've right? had so many times, like, reading the Bible, I'm like, why say classic like that? Jesus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, not Answering only that. Answering this way, yeah. But like, not only that, like, answering that way and then getting upset that people don't get it. <laughs> Or like, yeah, it's like, kind don't of you like, get it? No. Uh, it's like, no, Jesus. <laughs> Just no, say it plain. It. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was interesting, like, his his explanation for that. Not really an explanation, just kind of, you know, he, he wants to be poetic in his delivery, and it's, like, historic, too. People in the past who have written have done it in that fashion as well. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's a fair point. And yeah, and to his point, like, also intentional about allowing other people to... Like, if it's just plainly out there, then I guess it doesn't create that hunger to want to learn. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, what does he mean about this? Let's look into context and and the history. He doesn't want passive followers. He wants people that are going to look for truth. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's what he said, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was a really good explanation of that, mm-hmm. right? Like really, which like they should be really foundational, basic things, but they're they can be hard to grasp, mm-hmm. right? These concepts. Yeah, for sure. So it's like it's cool that he he's able to just kind of repeatedly kind of make that point, mm-hmm. um, and now thousands will hear it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So that was really good. Intro to Judas. <laughs> like yeah, I like us. That was really well done. That was really good. Him. Yeah. Oh man. That was his association. Someone was teaching him to be that way. Yeah. About all, all, there's he, the, his uh, like the guy that's training him was saying that there's opportunities everywhere. They're always looking you at the face. You just have to look for a way to take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. Um. 
Oh, and that one line was like, I want to be remembered. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my gosh, that's so heartbreaking. I was like, oh no. I remember in the worst way. <laughs> the worst way. I mean, I, this is another another story that I, I don't know too much about. Mm. And I don't know if I'm looking at him the, like with the proper context. Like, you know that he's the one that betrayed Jesus. And with a kiss. But that then, like, to me, it's just kind of like, oh, he's bad. Mm. And I don't know. Like, I've never, maybe I haven't, like, fully contextualized or humanized what, you know, what he was bringing. So I think this is going to be really, really interesting in the third season. Hopefully they dive into that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, Because I don't know, I don't know much Mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, here, obviously, they really humanize it like because he was a jew he still uh seemed like he was you, you could tell he's like taken he had, by this he's like he's he's looking yeah, for this yeah as well yeah like he was a follower of jesus like he did love him um but yeah you can tell that this show is you know how like a lot of movies and shows like how yeah some of them do a really great job of understanding the villain and how they got to where they ended up mm-hmm. being. Yeah. And here I feel like they're going to do a really good job potentially of feeling sorry for Judas and not you know what I mean? Yeah, no, like, and not really just, just giving him, him a, straight up as a, a traitor because yeah. he regretted it. Oh, 100 like right away. Like yeah. Right like, away he gave back to my knowledge. Like, yeah, he gave he back the money. He didn't want the money after. Right, like he he just He's like what did I do? Exactly. And he hung himself. Mm-hmm. Was it hanging himself? I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. So yeah, um, and and this was obviously like they the, the creators of the show obviously understood the weight of introducing a character like mm-hmm. like him. Mm-hmm. So it's like this is a, a really great finale. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know how how long it typically is between seasons. I imagine it's long, especially if it's independent. Um, it's a wait to see if they even have funding. Yeah. To do the next I mean, it looks like they're getting more and more yeah. um, backing, which is good. But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, the, I think in terms of, you know, like, the, the audience and understanding the context of what that character brings, it's such a great way to leave off a season. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, frustrating as a viewer, yeah. I guess. But, like, it, but that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. As a creator, you, like, you want to get people to keep watching and you know, have a hunger for more, and that that was a really great way to do it. Mm -hmm. And to see after, like, even to end it right before the sermon, like, we don't get to see people's reactions or responses to it. Yeah, so this is technically the the start of his public ministry. Uh, Yeah, I guess. Because, like, up to this point, he's still doing things in In secret, secret. disappearing, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now it's on. Yeah. And he has all 12 in place. I think. Yeah, I mean, he didn't officially welcome Judas, but... I mean, he was there for the walk. <laughs> that <laughs> means... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so he just, like, like, sees all these people who have been, like, studying by his eyes. <laughs> you, who are you? <laughs> oh, he knew. <laughs> oh, of course he, he knows. Knew. It's like, oh, here you are. Mm. <laughs> but he didn't even... Yeah, he didn't even react. Yeah. But yeah... Yeah, even them saying, like, 4,000, it's like, you know that there's, like, you know, feeding the 4,000, that, that mm-hmm. part of the gospel. Is it the 4,000? Yeah, I think there's 4,000 and then 5,000. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. They have set it up really well for season three. Yeah, and Erica, this time, yeah. yeah Erica has not seen season three, so we're going to be going into it blind, both yeah, of us. Both of so, us. um... Hopefully that makes for even deeper conversations and kind of things that we see. So uh, if you've been watching all throughout, um, you know, season one with our reactions, thank you. Hopefully you've enjoyed. We've had a really good time. And uh, we're going to dive right into season three next week. So we will see you then. Peace.